What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ronnie Pugs back again with another Spider Man PS4 video. Just about like five minutes ago, we got our first look at the three DLC suits that are coming for the heist in the city that never sleeps DLC. It is the Scarlet Spider Kane, Spider UK, and of course the original Insomniac design that reminds me of Flipside a little bit, but I think it looks a lot better than Flipside. But my thoughts on these suits so far. Now, a lot of people have been disappointed by them. I'd say the only thing I'm disappointed about is that once again, we got another suit that was in the past two Spider-Man games. I even think it was in Edge of Time. I'm not too sure, I never played Edge of Time, but it's like the same thing with the Big Time suit, you know? They could have given us the red version of the Big Time suit, but no, we got the green version that we saw in the last two Spider-Man games, which is how I'm feeling about the Kane suit, although I will say that the Kane suit looks a lot better than it does in the Tasm games for sure. Same with the Big Time suit. I actually enjoy using Big Time in this and in the Tasm games I think I thought it looked awful but it looks all right in this you know. I like that they added the depth and everything on the suit. The colors look right. Everything about that's pretty cool. Like I said the original design it reminds me of Flipside. It's like a flip side and a mixture of the Raimi suit with the silver webbing and everything but I do think it looks pretty cool and then of course Spider UK which I thought that was going to be a pre-order suit and it's actually pretty cool to be seeing that in the game because you know I know a lot of people overseas in England and stuff that play the game so that's pretty cool. I definitely will use that suit, I don't know if it's going to be my main rotation but I am glad it's in the game. It also looks a lot like the comic version but guys, today I wanted to talk about really briefly to y'all because I know the thing is the Raimi suit isn't in this DLC. We thought James Stevenson was teasing it which he still could be and with the Raimi logo that they had at that event and then they also had this DLC dropping on Sam Raimi's birthday so everybody was like oh we're gonna be getting the Raimi suit in the first DLC pack but realistically guys if we end up getting the Raimi suit it's gonna drop with the last DLC because it's from a business point of view you're gonna want to build hype for this and it's not like Insomniac knows or doesn't know that we really want the Raimi suit in the game. That is the most requested suit out of all of them. Like, I don't even think like Sam Raimi fans for real, like even they're saying they want the suit in the game. And I think it's because, you know, a lot of people grew up on this. You know, myself personally, the Raimi films are what got me in the Spider-Man. I remember when I was like real young, my dad asked me if I wanted to go see the first movie. And I said no, because I didn't know what Spider-Man was at first. And it kind of sounded weird to me because that's even what Stan Lee brought up that when he pitched the idea to his publisher, that his publisher was like, you know, people don't like spiders and stuff. So I didn't know what that was and that sounded kind of weird to me. So I said no to that. But then I ended up going to my cousin's house when the DVD released and I was like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing in the world because my cousins were watching it. I was like, wow, this is the greatest thing. And I still remember buying the first DVD at the store. Like that's pretty crazy. But realistically guys, if we get the Raimi suit, they're gonna save it for the very last DLC, like realistically, because you're gonna wanna build hype for it. This is the most requested suit. All the developers know and everything. I was watching Caboose's video, and in that video, he basically said uh, during a live stream, Brian Inahar was like, all right, besides the Raimi suit, which suit do you want in the game? And I honestly think like, if it's that requested, they have to put it in the game because everybody wants that. I know they might be trying to make you forget about the past series and everything which is why we only got the mcu suits because i'm pretty sure insomniac has to go to marvel and sony to approve both of this but at the same time it's like it wouldn't really be an issue because we just saw that they released around the time homecoming came out they released a new package of raimi films with basically spider-man 3.1 they had the editors cut so in a sense the series is still alive because they're still updating stuff and everything for it but realistically if they were to put the Raimi suit in the game, it would have to be in the last DLC. Who knows, maybe the last DLC is going to be all Raimi suits because I brought this up in a while ago. I'll put a card up on the screen right there. But I brought this up a while ago talking about, you know, realistically, there's only like three Raimi suits that were used throughout the films. There was the human spider, the regular one, and there's minor difference between the 2002 and Spider-Man 2 and 3 version. but. It's the same suit really, it's just the spider logo that it kind of modified. And then the black suit, so imagine like the last DLC, you get a, uh, like the last DLC or even the next DLC, you get all those Raimi suits. Like that would be amazing, like the Raimi pack or even we get a surprise DLC pack maybe in the summer 
that has all the missing movie suits, like the Far From Home one, which I will be discussing later in another video, like the Far From Home suit, the Amazing Spider-Man suits, and the Raimi suits, and even the Spider-Verse suits. Like, imagine how cool that would be if we got like a free costume pack for playing the game and everything and being loyal to the company and stuff like that. But I mean, basically that's gonna end it. I honestly think if we end up getting the Raimi suit in DLC, it's gonna be in the last DLC because you wanna build hype for this. You want people to keep playing the game and buying the DLCs thinking that the Raimi suit is gonna be in there. And imagine people skipping out on this DLC because that suit's not in there because, you know, it's just a suit, but it does really like, if people wanna buy the DLC and they're just casual gamers and they see the suits and they're like, eh, it doesn't really look that important to me. But anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you tuned in, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for everybody sticking through me with this channel, man. I got a lot of videos planned that I'm going to try to get recorded this weekend. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys again in the next video.